Harry is type 1 diabetic and he's only four years old. I'm Kate Reid, I'm one of the assistant head teachers here and um, one of my main roles is safeguarding and wellbeing. I oversee the children who have medical needs in the school. I was really concerned how were they going to cope with everything um, and how was I going to cope with everything. Every parent, and, and Harry's mum was no different, feel concerned when their child comes to school for the first time. When we found out Harry was joining the school, we wanted to make sure that we were well prepared, but there was that element of fear to make sure we were doing everything correctly and not doing him any harm. In Harry's case, Mum had to let go of something that she had full control of, and she needed to feel comfortable that the school would be able to do that just as she would be able to do at home. My main concerns with Harry was that he would be eating lunches there and he would be there a whole day. Um, so there's a lot of things to learn with regards to how to care for that and obviously carb counting as well. Harry has an individual healthcare plan that we've been through in detail with the school. There are roles and responsibilities for the healthcare team and also for the school and they're detailed in this booklet. This booklet provides an agreed reference on how many hours of support are needed for different age groups. If needed, this can be used to apply for additional funding support. The school have responsibilities to make sure that um, the child is treated the same as all the other children, but meeting the healthcare plans at the same time. The school obviously needed to learn the care plan um, and obviously recognise when Harry was feeling the way he was and why he was etc. When it comes to our relationship with the school it's important that we work together. We have a series of meetings with the school in terms of training. Going forward we need to think about um, how Harry will be supported next year so we are planning in training for staff. Anybody who needs it will have more awareness training and any specific training around Harry's pump or his levels or his carb counting. I've just found out from today um, that Harry's teacher that he's got now is actually moving into year one with him. So they're trying to bring that continuity there um, with his care and also making sure that his class is near the welfare room. So if there were any like complications or difficulties, he, he would be in fact closer to where he needs to be. We have children with various conditions in the school and with Harry it's, it's not much different, it's, it's just something that happens as part of Harry's day. For me, good care within the school is having that relationship with the school um, and us working together.